Hi guys, it's Angelica and I'm going to do um, a video on my favorite nail polishes and my nail polish is like, I don't know, I'm, I'm one that really doesn't like to branch out into the field of nail polish. Um, I used to be really, really into nail art, um, not really so much polishes but like nail art and stuff. Um, and so I have quite a big collection of, of nail stuff as you can probably see over there. Um, but these are, like, I definitely have a family of nail polishes that I really like, and summer, winter, I really don't stray from them. So I didn't want to make, even though they're kind of more wintry colors, I feel like I didn't want to make, you know, like a winter one because I wear these same colors in the summer as well, and some of these are too summery to wear nowadays, and some of them I just don't care, and I just wear all year. As you can probably tell, I like the family of reds over here and greens over here that's that's my nail polishes reds and greens and that's it <laughs> but um mostly but um yeah i'm gonna start with um this color which is kind of a more random color for for me um but and i'm sorry these have like nail polish all over them but i tried to clean them but nail polish is just a demon um anyway so i got this one at urban and it is called virgin oh yeah it's called called virgin and it's just it's not like a white it's um it's a cream as you can probably tell um but i really like it and it does come out definitely more creamier than it does white and i like it a lot do i love it on my nails and um i don't wear it as often as some of these other colors um but i really do like this one so if you're looking for a good white slash cream nail polish this one's great i also use this to do my half moon manicures that i I'm actually not wearing any nail polish, oh my god. <laughs> I love nail polish, but I just can't keep it on since I bite my nails and stuff. But anyway, it's a completely different story. On to the next one. Oh, oh if you want us to watch that. <laughs> See how it's creamy? I love it. Cute. Some of these cracked for some reason, I don't know why. Um, anyway, this one is... Um, this one is called Steadily As She Rose, or Steady As She Rose, not Steadily. No adverbs here. But anyway, it's just this, um, if you can't see, it's like a light, like, grayish pink. There's a swatch right there. It's from the, um, Pirates of the Caribbean OPI collection. I love it. It's like a grayish, light pink. It's so cute. I love this one. And, um, next... I have this one and it's called Alligator Purse and it's just this um this like dark kind of muted red if you can see comes out a little bit lighter in here it's kind of like a kind of like an ugly red but it's not it's kind of like a it's kind of like a grandma color that's why it's probably called Alligator Purse but I really like it it's just this dark but like creamy like really really creamy and really muted red which I think is beautiful so I like it a lot it's almost orangey too, you know, like, I just like it. But, um, the next one I have, I've been loving this one lately, this is the only one that I'll wear lately, and it is called Tomboy No More, and, yeah, and this was by Essie, I love Essie nail polishes, they're probably my favorite brand of nail polishes, um, it's Essie, but, um, this is, looks like that, it's a darkish, like, red berry color, and I just love it, oh, I love it. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Um, I've been wearing this one nonstop lately, and I love to wear this color over it, which I have no idea what this is. This is just I found out at Marshalls for two dollars. It's called the L Spell, and it's by the brand Burrell. I don't know, but it's this beautiful like gold and like maroon and burgundy holographic glitter and it's like so holographic it's like green and it's just beautiful i love it so much but yeah so if you can find that at your local marshall's <laughs> and in the area with all like the skin products yeah that's where it is but um anyway <laughs> um the next color is wrapped in rubies so this is pretty much what it looks like it's just this metallic -y, um burgundy color and i love it it has gold but it doesn't really show up it mostly just shows up as like a metallic -y color but i love it it's super pretty the next one oh our finally oh wait no i skipped one i skipped one but this one is amazing it matches my lipstick my flower 
yeah but um i love this color it's a super bright red it's like so bright i just can't even this is called lacquered up by essie as you can probably tell i love this one it's super creamy creamiest red i own probably and it's super super bright and i love this but yes yeah, so now we're in the green family yay and um the first one i have down is called um i think it's called hunter green i'm not sure the label like came off many moons ago but um this is by american apparel i don't know if they sell this anymore like this exact kind of thing because i got this um i think two years ago but i just i absolutely love this color um it's just a dark hunter green and it's great it's creamy the bush the, the bush the brush isn't too big um i just love this color and i've been wearing this all the time as well um, especially in the fall, I wore this a lot. Um, and there's one just like it, and I'll show you. It's this one, only, as you can probably tell, it's a matte. Only, I don't know, is that like a... Oh yeah, I think I was about to put top coat on it, and then I was like, no! But anyway, it's just this matte, it's actually suede, but it, um, it's just this matte hunter green. It's slightly lighter, so... Um, than this one as you can probably tell not slightly but quite lighter than the other one but um it looks like this oh it looks like it looks like this in the bottle and um yeah it's by OPI and it's um called here today Aragon tomorrow suede and this is my go to um nail polish when I run out of top coat because you don't need top coat for this you it's like strongly like you just it ruins the finish and it dries wicked quickly and I just this is perfect for if you don't own top coat or if you just run out of it this is the go-to color that I wear if I run it it's also by American Apparel and um these ones kind of separate a little bit I have another American Apparel one and it's separated too but it's fine um otherwise and it looks blue but it's not um <laughs> it's so not blue this is like um like a very 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 greenish teal it's so not this blue oh my god that's so weird <laughs> but um it's not this color it's just a very very green teal and um it looks like this wow it doesn't do justice for the color does it but it looks like this but it totally doesn't anyway but anyway um it's just a teal color i love it it's like this nice 50s teal color it's super cute and um the next one is kind of also reminds me of the 50s it's mint and i love mints um and it is like the perfect mint i tried a bunch of them this is mint sorbet by um sally hansen and i love this color i'm almost out of it i'm like probably down to here of it and love it this is pretty much my go-to color in the summer months as well as even it's cool to wear in the winter and stuff and i, I love this this is if you're looking for a mint this is a great mint and it's wicked and expensive and it's great i love this i love the heart of nails line all of other sally hansen nail lines are kind of sketchy but the heart of nail ones are really really good quality and they're wicked creamy and um yeah i love this one but um yeah oh and did i tell you what this one's called this one doesn't have a label either <laughs> i don't know i'm sorry just a teal color guys i like teal um, but yeah so that was my nail polishes those are my favorites yep <laughs> but um i hope you enjoyed this video and please tell me what your favorite nail polishes are in the comments i'd love to know um and if you have any suggestions for me to try out based on the colors that i like the green family and the red family then please tell me i mean <laughs> um i'd love to try out new colors because i really like i don't buy shoes and i don't buy nail polish and like i kind of buy clothes like i'm obsessed with lush and I'm obsessed with lipstick. Those are the two things that I will incessantly buy. But like nail polish, like is not one of those things. It's one of those things that I love having and that I'm really passionate about that I won't buy. It's like shoes. It's like shoes, guys. But like seriously, like would you? Ra I'd rather have a bath bomb than shoes. I don't know about you. Well, I don't know. I just like you know like when you have to, when you run out of Urban Decay Primer Potion, but you really don't want to go to the store and buy some, and you'd so much rather buy like a lipstick or like an eyeshadow. Yeah, that's the, these are my problems. But you know that you know that you need it because Urban Decay Primer Potion is like hard to live without. Trust me. Trust me. If you've used it before, you know. <sighs> but yeah, I'm gonna stop talking now. Um, goodbye. <laughs>